Hi there everybody, welcome to another Dota commentary. I am ScreenGuard Guy and today we'll be having a game, no observer slot, damn it. Today we'll be having a game from no Noi, P, Noi Pi against TNC Gaming. It's one of the first games from the GMPGL. You get a Gigabyte Mineski Pro Gaming League. One of the few, I think, remaining huge Dota 1 sort of tournaments. We're just going to be speeding this up a little bit. Taking quite a while with that first ban and surprisingly enough it is a Shadow Fiend. I do love yeah. a good Shadow Fiend. But I gotta say, that is an unusual ban. I mean, he's been seeing a lot more lately. He does have that incredible damage output potential. But, you know, during the laning phase, he tends to lose out. He has no escape mechanism. And, whoa, my goodness, Nerubian Assassin, Puck, as well as Batrider. But Dragon Knight first pickup. I just want to talk a little bit about that. Actually, I want to slow this down because I do actually like talking about it. Um, pick that phase, one of my favorite phases. If you guys don't like this, of course, you can always skip ahead. Uh, Nerubian Assassin, of course, has been seeing a lot of play. Strong ganker, able to take people down. In fact, he almost sort of, to me, shares the same role as the Batrider, that of sort of this super counter carry. If he has a good early game, he can take down any hero virtually completely unstoppable, a lot of great burst damage, and they both, you know, you can get Dagon on both of them. Uh, Puck as well with a great initiation. Now, I just want to talk a little bit about the Dragon Knight. Now, Dragon Knight, not really one of those heroes you'd think of immediately when you come to the first pick ideology, but certainly a very, very powerful hero. I was thinking more like Magnus or something, but uh, Magnus, the Magnus-Sven combo has been seeing so much play lately. In fact, I think it was seen first in the Filipino scene um, a very, very long time ago. I remember seeing a game that had a Sven, Magnus, plus a Alchemist, unfortunately. Not, was it Alchemist? Sorry, a Warlock. Unfortunately, it did not go quite so well for them, but of course, it has become quite a big thing nowadays. To point, Magnus, I think, has been nerfed slightly. Sven definitely has been nerfed that five, well, just by about an extra five percent reduction on that cleave. Um, Dragon, Knight, of course, not one of those heroes you're going to go instantly, instinctively think one of those first picks. He is a very tanky hero. Probably going to see him in the mid lane. The Queen of Pain be going to the mid lane against him, or should go be going as more traditionally towards the long lane on the central side. Now, Phantom Lancer. <coughs> you guys have seen my other game, the game from yesterday. Uh, <coughs> wow. <coughs> coughing I swallowed something like a bug uh, one of the coolest carries of all time I do love a good Phantom Lancer and so we're sort of continuing with that phase except you know all my favorite heroes are sort of being picked out now Nox is gonna get banned uh, <coughs> no P no PYE PYI I'm gonna say it's Noip. Uh still need a late game carry uh, if they want to pick up a Sven they can always do that not yet banned out and could be very very useful against a Phantom Lancer uh, Certainly, they're banning out a lot of very, very powerful mid lane heroes, so it makes me guess that they want to prevent TNC from picking up somebody strong who can sort of out mid lane the Dragon Knight. I'm thinking a tri lane with the Rubik and whatever late game hero they are going to pick up. It could be a Sven. Sven kind of sort of works as a late game. I don't think he's quite as strong as EPL, but he could be seen as a natural counter. What was that? Okay, gonna get rid of the Earthshaker, uh, getting rid of those AoE stuns as well. I don't really know about this Alchemist pick. It, I mean, this Alchemist ban, not really the best ban in the world, but of course he does uh, provide a very, very strong late game. Maybe this is TNC gaming sort of specialty. You can speed this up a little bit because uh, I, can I can't really talk about the pick ban phase if nothing's being picked or banned. Uh, that's my Skype. <laughs> okay, we're going to be seeing Bounty Hunter going to be banned out. Are they going to prepare for some, some invisible heroes, perhaps? Or maybe they just don't want to deal with the track Bonus gold and of course a powerful ganker in the woods. Jakira going to be picked up next by TNC. Going to provide them some great AOE stuns, which is something that they severely need more of. Shadow Demon, of course, does have his disruption to start things off, but in terms of initiate an initiation power, I guess Queen of Pain can do it. Although she is very very frail, I wouldn't suggest it. But of course, now that you have the uh, big AOE coming in from the Jakira, that kind of solves some of your problems. You uh, a few more stuns would be nice. In fact. Um, on the other side, you've got Dragonite with his 2.5 second stun at level 1, if he can of course get in place, which if we see a Lothar's edged Dragonite, that may very well be the case. Magnus, of course, with a blink, reverse polarity skewers, he's got it all, he's got it all. Telekinesis coming in from the um, Rubik, and of course, if you try to find another Tombstone, well, that's just plain silly. Uh, they're gonna, they are gonna pick up the Sven, my favorite hero, of course, as everyone knows. Not really that good at him. It's gonna be. Let's just introduce the players very, very quickly. It's gonna be Andrew playing the Shadow Demon. Hayes T6 gonna be playing the Jakiro, who will be played. That's a support I want to say, but uh, yeah, I think he got the courier. Wards were picked up from the Shadow Demon. It will be Leo gonna be playing that Phantom Lance. You're gonna get 
two ring of protections. Want to see what he's building into. I have a particular interest in Phantom Lancer. I love seeing different builds. Uh, he's one of my favorite heroes. So I just, you know, I want to learn more about him. Let's watch some games with Phantom Lancer. Jay Tyne going to be playing the blue, which is Queen of Pain. <laughs> okay, I've already forgotten this. Jonas is going to be playing the Alaria. Going to go for a very, very standard build. Two tangos plus a lot of stats. Uh, you'll see this kind of build on Queen of Pains. You'll see this kind of build on Pucks. It's a very, very strong, very, very versatile build. Although Queen of Pain is going to be going to the mid lane, hence she'll be picking up a bottle. I'm uh, not so sure what this is about with the Roche, but he's going to looks like a sort of semi jungling kind of thing. Oh no, he's going to send lane. Sorry, pick up a Vanguard perhaps later. A Stout Shield first. A lot of health regen. Not so much in the mana department. Rubik and playing support. Wait, I never introduced the player. It's going to be Mach. Mach with a Mach with a question mark. Going to be playing that Rubik. W3W on the Magnus. This fella. Hatred gonna be playing Sven. ASD Chai. Gonna be playing the Undying. Dragon Knight will be played by Paul. Paul. With a capital L. Magic Stick gonna be picked up first. Expecting some a little bit of harass. I must say this is a little bit refreshing the dual lane. Although we might see uh, Rubik swarm up there a little bit later. Just gonna check out the items in the Undying. He's gonna be playing the number two. No, it looks like uh, Sven will be the carry. He has picked up the Ring of Protection. Going to go for Basilius next, I'm supposing. This could be dangerous. And abandoning the lane, looking for a gank. Oh, they're going to find one. So much damage. Not really. Telekinetic throw going to be dodged next to that nice haste room. There's the disruption. Ice path to follow it up. Ice path to follow. Oh, dual breath instead for the extra damage. Very nice choice. Are going to pick themselves up a nice first blood. And now they're going to be going into the lane. Phantom Lancer in the meantime, just taking a few right click harasses. Sven getting a little bit of farm for that. So there is some compensation, but I would not say it was a favorable one. Dropping that 200 gold plus that experience for these two supports. Gonna have to do something about that top lane. Phantom Lancer cannot afford to win it. And we're gonna be seeing, yeah, I guess this magic stick might have been okay. Or accumulated one charge so far. Not the most charges in the universe. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Laria gonna be doing the solo thing against the Magnetar, gonna be power shotting to the Shockwaves, and of course with that Windrun, that is some nice harass there, abuse of the Windrun, I, some would say, and I would say that because that's friggin' awesome, it's friggin' epic, and I do wish I had the skills to do that. Fortunately, I don't, I just play a noobish sort of Windrunner. As we see, Queen of Pain very, very aggressive, right up in that Dragonite's face, not hesitating to throw stuff out, still, it's only a minute, and I would not be surprised if she got a ball because she is last hitting like an absolute champ. Uh, doing some pulls coming in from with this Rubik. He needs to get his levels back. Didn't have the gold, I think, for a TP scroll, so was forced to walk back that whole way. Jukiro picking up a magic stick. Phantom Lancer already picked up one for the uh, Ring of Protection. He's turned it on. Ring of Basilius says, we see a go going to be made thanks to the Shadow Demon. Oh, the damage is horrendous. Poison, of course, won't be doing off. He's got three stacks, though. Oh, my goodness. That actually might do it. One more stack. That's a kill. Oh, my goodness. Shadow Demon, you are a king. And that's why I love Shadow Demons as well. Uh, Queen of Pain having a grand old time. The stun's going to be going off that ice path. But Jakiro in a lot of trouble. Where's the stun from? There's a storm ball. No storm ball. He must have used it earlier in the engage. Wow, very aggressive as Shadow Demon makes a move going up. He wants some sort of like revenge kill. He's at full mana and full health. He's only got 492 health, so keep in mind, Rogue Knight does hit very, very hard. But so does everybody else in this entire pool, so why not? Meantime, Dragon Knight going to get completely out harassed here. No bottle yet on him. No, he has picked up the bottle. Use your flame breath. Oh, up top, big team fighting, breaking out. Tombstone was dropped. Shadow Demon's going to go down right there. Oh, Phantom Lance is trying to do something, but he does no damage. He's going to get picked off. Jakiro's taking a lot of clicks, but thanks to a nice ice path. Is there going to be another Storm Bolt? Does he have the mana for it? That's the question. He does not. Not yet picked up the Ring of Protection. Go get a Sobe Mask. Yes, there it is. Ring of, I'm sorry, the Ring of Basilius. Ring of Basilius has been picked up. Nicely done. Still, of course, not enough. Quite yet. He's such a tanky hero. I just take Threatening to dual breath him. Just threatening right there. As in chess, the threat is so much greater than the actual execution. As we see in the midst... Oh my goodness, he's like... Pow he's, he's actually a single power shot away from death. And that could be coming soon. She has bottled up. She has the mana for it. Is she going to do it? Is she going to do it? No, she won't. I don't think she knows how low he is. And he's going to salve up and be just fine. As we see Queen of Pain, our warriors have engaged the enemy. Indeed, Queen of Pain sitting pretty on level 5. As Dragon Knight all only at level 4, struggling to catch up a little bit. Rogue Knight threatening to throw something now. Ring of Basilius turned on all the way for both sides. And now that... No, no, not, not for Rogue Knight. And he wants to keep the lane... He wants to stay in the laning phase a little bit. They want... 
Obviously, they're trying to get a gank off on the Phantom Lancer. Want to bring the creep wave a little bit closer. Doing that's what hence the pulls, hence turning off the Basilius, giving Dirge a little bit of an aura too. That's a nice, nice thing to give to your friends, an aura. You know, it's a nice thing. And of course, uh, Shadow Demon choosing to get the poison first. Very, very aggressive bonus of Soulcatcher, I believe. He has definitely picked up one to, um, yeah, it's, it's into oh, disruption. Those telekinetic throw gonna be going off, trying to throw him over to somewhere where he'll be trapped in the trees. Unfortunately, not the case. As we see, a go gonna be made on the Jakiro. So tanky, yet so dead. No, he's not dead yet. Oh, he's oh disrupt offense. Sorry, defensive disruption. Def disruption used defensively, but not quite enough. Tombstone has been laying down. Look at that slow coming off Telekinetic Pro as well. Gonna get another kill. Storm Ball right to the face. Oh, Phantom Lancer should not have gone in, but had to do it. Because you know his friends, as we see multiple kills left and right. One Flame Breath, two Flame Breaths. He's like a Flame Breath and two hits away. Uh, and he's gonna TP out right then and there. Meanwhile, bottom lane, who's winning this big engage range against Melee? Of course, Melee will t get more EXP, but you're gonna get out lane. Seriously, six to five. Magnetar, Shockwave, such a powerful thing, but he has no mana regen. Sigh, no Crystal Maiden to help him out there. Sven getting a lot of farm, which is just what I like to see, as a gank is going to be made off right in the middle lane, I'm thinking. Jakiro, do you want to throw something in? You ain't got a blink, what are you doing? Look at the harass going off on that Dragon Knight, how much levels? One level into Dragon's Blood, as we see Shadow Demon just waiting for something. I don't know what he's... Well, I mean, he's obviously waiting for the opportune moment. Disruption, Ice Path, a few poison stacks, and that guy is as good as dead. Here's the bottle. Waiting for Shadow Demon to be full health. He's going to be going in. I see it on the map. Come on, engage the enemy. As up top, things are going to be going off. Rubik is here. He knows what's happening. Rooms, sorry, the wards are going to scout him out, and they want to go for him instead. Nice, but nobody's following up. Jakiro is a little bit slow right there. And it seems that a Goblin Zeppelin has bought the regen room. And it has used the regen room. More of a deny, really, than anything else. Interesting bottle throwing idea. Sort of a recipe for disaster kind of thing. Anyway, let's check out what Sven has. Almost enough mana for full, for another two, for two Storm Bolts. Phantom Lancer, unfortunately, can't say the same. There's no detection, so I don't think they'll be able to get a kill off quite so easily. And they seem to have devoted this sort of tri-lane mid. Not the wisest choice in the world. Certainly, you'll be getting more EXP as a Night Dave, and not only are you melee, the other guy has to share it with three people. And if they're not sharing it with three people, that means your support's going to be severely under level. But Queen of Pain, right-clicking like a boss, managing to get pretty much every last hit so far that I've seen. Is she going to get this one? Whoa! Yeah, she did. Wow. That's nice. And meanwhile, Phantom Lancer's asking, what's up? He's a telekinetic throw. Does he know he's a telekinetic throw away from for life? No, okay. Never mind. Away from death? Sorry. As we see bottom lane left to their own devices, having a little farming RPG here. Let's check out who's winning. Level 7 to level 7. But it looks like Shadow Demon's coming in. He's like, enough of this nonsense. Let's let's finish this like real men. While I throw spells at you from afar, because the only real men in this game are of course the Rogue Knight. That's really it. Ah, uh, I think coming in from the wrong side, Jakiro as well has alerted Windrunner to their presence, and she's so low, she's really a single disruption, as Undying comes in, he's gonna be dying to dual breath, come on, anything, fire, where's the ice path, not dropped down, so much damage, gonna go off, Jakiro's gonna go down with a shock wave, Shadow Demon caught very out of position, he's, he's gonna disrupt himself, I don't think that would help, he's gonna die to the, to the decay, in fact, power shot going forward, oh my goodness, Windrunner, is she next, is she next, counter gank, the two roaming supports, I think, took a little bit too long with that. TPs came in. That was all. That was the end of that, really. As we see up top, Phantom Lancer going to be chasing this Rogue Knight. Going to go down. Oh, Storm Bolt threatened the Storm Bolt. Throw it. Throw it, you fool. Oh, he's going to die. Is he going to die? Oh. I don't, I, didn't, I don't know why I said throw it, you fool. That was, uh, he's obviously, he's much better than I am. Oh, the Ring of Protection, of course, was for the Tranquil Boots. We see a Gogan made with the Falcon Lake Throw. Is there enough fire? Is there enough poison damage? Oh, tower hit. Disruption was so good. Such great timing. Those illusions are just going to burn through his health. Thanks for getting that uh, po little poison orb. 
for the Tranquil Boots. It's an interesting build. Everybody seems to be building it nowadays. In fact, I might, I might decide to do that. Seems Drums of Endurance, Django of Endurance. Oh, I got to say Django here because it's not Dota 2. Django of Endurance will be the next item for the Queen of Pain. I do love the word Django so much better than I love the word drum. Like, what's a drum, really? But Django, it's a Django, man. You ain't gonna hear that word anywhere else as the brace is picked up. Sorry, up top, we're gonna miss yet another kill on, sorry, on the Queen of Pain in the mid lane. It looks seems there was a tri lane mid. That's enough stuns, certainly enough damage to bring it off. I think we're missing a little bit of the animation. I don't think I saw the decay last time. Take Nyona. Nyonya? Man, I really should learn some other. Okay, as you see, Rogue Knight gonna get completely caught out here, I think. Coming in, Shadow Demon, one poison. One right click. Another poison. Another poison. Storm Bolt right to the face. We'll do this disruption. Where's the disruption? Right there. Throw a poison. Oh! Oh, what's gonna be going on? Shadow Demon is so slowed. Here comes the Phantom Lancer. Cavalry has arrived. We'll dual breath. Come on. Poison. Yes, another poison. I think he's close to death. I think one more poison stack. Not gonna get him. As we see, Shadow Demon gonna be going down to the text and Nice Talking. He's supposed to reverse polarity. In order, everybody's here. Look at the Shaka Shonda. Two Storm Ball gonna finish off Jakiro. One more poison gonna miss, unfortunately. Oh, there's a slow gonna go down. Gonna die to the right click from the Illusion. As the Illusion continues chasing Magnus, but Magnus is just gone. Fan Spirit Lance was stolen. I want to check the score really, really quick. Hang on. Duh. Five to nine, currently in favor of the Scourge. Wow, not sure what lanes they're exactly winning since there's been so much roaming. Looks like the, uh, dra the um, Dragon Knight has been getting free farm right here, and he has picked up a double damage rune. Wow, very nicely done. I'm sure he'll want to push the tower as soon as... It is readily available, and of course this is Dota 1, and there are no observer slots, hence I will be constantly going back towards the fountain. I um, think Windrunner might also be going for a Django, multiple Django's not the worst thing in the world to have. Multiple Basiliuses are actually completely legitimate as well, as we see Shadow Demon wants to get in with disruption. Oh, there's an immediate disruption after the Storm Belt, plus one poison stack. I think that's more for Harass than anything. More right click, Shaggle Shot, beautifully done. Another poison, Telekinetic Throw gonna go forward. Yeah, there's no more stuns, though. Oh, another poison, just gonna miss. The Soul Catcher has been placed on him. Here comes the, here comes the dire, uh, dire, yeah, the Dirge, undying. He's just running for it. Look at that, Tombstone drop nicely. Everybody's so slow, but Windrunner caught out slightly. No, she went forward, and she's gonna get out just fine. GG, I think is the thing. I don't know what the G stands for. As we see, an invisible Jakiro. Dun 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 Here comes Queen of Pain. She wants something. Ice Path, not gonna catch anybody at this point. Blink was just stolen. She's gonna get telekinetically thrown. Dual breath. Oh, Phantom Lancer comes in. He wants something. Another Storm Ball, but, but he's so low. So low! Oh. No, he's, he's gonna manage to get out just fine. So low. Some only live once. And here comes the uh, Nagator wants something to be going on, but not gonna really... Okay, wow, nobody died in that engage, but it was really, really, really... Somehow very <laughs> exciting. As we see, Queen of Pain gonna be moving towards the center. She's picked up her... Picked herself up some power treads, boots at least finished on the Jakiro. I just want to check out what the Shadow Demon has. Boots, yeah, boots and a Sobi mask. Very nicely done. Guess we're spamming that poison. You see, Phantom Lads are having the time of his life. Really? He has picked up two to juxtapose. Which I like. I mean, getting this juxtapose earlier than I would. Like, I, I follow a really weird build when I do Phantom Lancer, but I like this. I like this multiple juxtapose kind of thing. As we see, Rubik gonna be doing some pulls. Not so sure if it's wise with the um, the sort of army really so close. And he has turned on the Ring Basilius. I think they, they are aiming to push this, essentially. As we see, some right clicks gonna be going off. And I think that is about it. Here comes Shadow Demon. He's just sort of waiting for somebody to try and stop this push. If Rubik were to move forward, he would be dead. Shadow Demon's disruption, another ice path. And that would be the end of that as we see Jakiro plus Shadow Demon. Two bosom buddies going to be going for a little roam, I think. Or what? Dirge is going to be going up top. Where are the wards? Nobody's going to see him, actually. As we see, I oh, a little chance encounter. Poison stack to start things off. Disruption. No disruption. Not in range. There's the disruption. Why is Dragon Knight so slow? Ice path. Another poison. Oh, there's a soul catcher. Oh, gonna die. That's it. Straight up. Just release the poison. End his suffering. As you see up top, I think a sort of a revenge kill is sort of wanted here. Shockwave. No. Not gonna be able to get without um, detection. Let's just check if anybody does have detection. He's 
surprise me if the Rubik did. He has picked up a mana boots, but no detection, unfortunately. So very, very difficult to get a kill in this game. Completely, perfectly changed on him and somehow acquire extra damage. It looks like Rogue Knight forced to run back. Going for an armlet, maybe? I don't like armlet on strength, but I might try that actually tonight. As you some shockwaves going to be going forward. Level 10 on the Magnus. Let's just check out their levels really, really quick. 10, 9, 5, 9, 5 against 8, 7, 8, 10, 10. Scourge, I think, feel like they're, I feel like they're ahead. Uh, they certainly are up in terms of kills, 3 kills, but you know, <laughs> Sentinel do have the Phantom Lancer, and I, that's saying something. But of course, the Scourge has Sven, he's the best hero of all time. So, you know. Unfortunately, forced, I think, tactically to give up a tower. It's going to get at least denied. Here comes the Glyph. Anybody coming in to defend it? Focus fire. Oh, I don't think we've skilled it yet. Level nine wants it. One more right click. Oh, gonna get it despite the reverse polarity used for one. Disruption used. Oh, Dirge just wants to right click everything. Just a fat flesh golem that he is. Looks like Jakirik is gonna die. Nice skewer. And it looks like it's gonna catch out. Yes, we're gonna catch out the windrunner. A few more right clicks here. We're gonna give some experience to the Sven, although not the kill. Sven only level eight is in dire need. He'll take whatever he can get at this point. Akasha sitting at level ten, very very pretty, if I might say. As we see Jakiro, sorry, Dragon Knight. Gosh darn it, too many dragons. As we see Dragon Knight having also not a bad time. He has picked. The, he's got that double damage root. He's gonna be using it to push slightly mid tower. Can get a revenge tower. Here comes the disruption. Nicely done. Poison. Okay, that's it. Ah, uh, that's it. That's all she wrote. Okay, at the bottom lane, our Revenge Tower is going to be going off here. Rubik, of course, can clear those creep waves ultra fast. Je Glyph has been popped. Dirge, of course, can always lay down that tombstone when he wants it if he comes off cooldown. They both great at pushing. Shockwave as well, clearing the creep wave. And you've got the Rogue Knight, who's the best hero of all time. What more can I say with his war cry? Everybody gets extra armor. Everybody gets extra armor. As we see in the mid lane. Successful tower defense, but unfortunately lost the one at the bottom for both sides, really. Uh, we're going to be seeing Queen of Pain going to go for a Hex, I want to say first, but it could be very, very well be a Lincoln Sphere. Fingers crossed as we see. What, 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 would, what would the Lincoln Sphere be for? Well, you've got that long range stun from the Dragon Knight when he is in his Elder Dragon form. That's one thing. Um, Rogue Knight, Storm Ball, that, that will work. Um, telekinesis, I think spell seal as well. Yeah, it's a fair few things. Lincoln Sphere is not a bad choice, although I would prefer to get a hex in all situations because, well, I do like hexes, but it could keep her alive from the storm ball. As you say, there's the telekinetic throw. There's a storm ball to follow things up. Ice pad not doing anything. In fact, it was stolen. Queen of Pain just gonna blink right out of there. Disruption used. There's the tombstone. Don't find him. This macro pyre. Oh my goodness, the one has gone down now. Is there any more damage to our stunned? And I think that's it. Ice pad gonna catch out that Rubik. Dragon Knight looking for a victim. There it goes. Reverse polarity. So much damage. 100%. 100%. Now I say 100% splash. I actually completely forgot about that. So, I mean, you're looking. If you can get a great reverse polarity, everybody's pretty much dead. I don't know why they... I don't know why I didn't even think of the 100% splash coming in on Dragon Knight. But you combine that plus a 65% splash coming in from the Rogue Knight. If he chooses to get Battle Fury, it's another 100% splash with a God Strength up. I don't know. If he gets MOM, that's also a, a ton of damage. Bereza, whatever he wants, just an insane amount of damage splashed out. It could be... It's pretty much deadly. It's pretty much game over if you can get some of those good, uh, good old reverse polarities. As you see, Phantom Lancer's gonna go... Wow, this is a build I like. Radiance Rush. I gotta say, this is one of the coolest things of all time. Um, Radiance Rush on a PL helps him farm, gives him great damage, but it's so tough. And he may actually get it before the 20 minute mark here. Here we go, Shackle Shot, just gonna follow up. Yeah, the the Soul Catchers. Chain Stunning wasn't even necessary. Phantom Lance was actually gonna pick that one up, and I think he may even now just have the gold. I don't know. No, he's doing some more jungling. Probably doesn't. Looks like our warriors are engaging the enemy, and it looks like it will be Armlet or Mortigan. Going to be picking up that Helm of the Dominator from the side shop as soon as possible. I believe after he finished away, but oh, he might die just beforehand. Show oh, Ice Path. Going to pick him out. Macro Pyre, stun right to the face, but he's so slow. Warcry, not enough. Going to be going down. That's going to send him back if he didn't buy the item before death, which is a completely legitimate thing to do. As we see, Middle Tower is going to have to go down. Sven's team on the back foot. Ooh. And let's just check out what items she's going to be going for. Could be Ice Scotty. That would be cool. 
I wouldn't I wouldn't say no to Nia Scotty. Let's see Jakiro. Gonna also get that um so mask. Looks like mech will be the first item for the Windrunner. Good survivability item. Great overall in the team fight. Queen of Pain. Defending. Defending the tower. Not the ancient yet. Lucky for her. Dragon Knight moving forward. He looked like a range creep there for a second. Has picked up the Lothar's Edge. Gonna give him some good initiation potential. And it's just a really strong escape mechanism as well. Get some kills right then and there. Try laning it up. Looking for somebody to venture down. Is Rogue Knight gonna get caught out yet again? No, he's moving forward and away. Just wants to farm. Just wants to get his armlet. Did not buy it before he died, fortunately, or otherwise he would have picked it up. Sven Sababa, I don't know what that means, but Sven is dead, I think. That's my translation. They can get a shackle shot. Oh, it's disruption, 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 right then and there. Ice path, shackle shot. No, it didn't even need it, just a power shot. Soul Catcher is going to die almost instantly. That, that really makes me feel sad. But that's happened to me many, many times while playing Rogue Knight. I farm in one spot, die in three seconds, think, well, it's probably okay to farm there since they've already have. They already killed me there once. It's completely, I don't know why I do that. But I do it constantly, so it's something I gotta work out. And you see Phantom Plants are gonna be getting big items next. I think the Blade, it would be the standard choice. And then afterwards, Man Style Butterfly, who knows Sky's the Limit. He, whatever he wants, he'll get it very, very fast. Thanks to, of course, this uh, Radiance. 40 damage a second, son. Gonna be burning all of that down. And yeah, he doesn't even have to. He just move forward to here. His illusions and their radiance film will take care of the rest. See, up top, our allies' town seem to need our help as the tower's gonna be going down. Nice counter from the Scourge. Moving forward with their Dragon Knight, the most, the second most manly of all the Dota characters. As we see, mid lane gonna get pressured slightly, but they're just gonna completely back off. Queen of Pain doing a great job here, keeping the lanes under pressure. We'll be going for the Lincoln Sphere first. No problem with that Abs at all. Shadow Demon Disruption gonna get another kill. That combo is, I think, a slightly broken macro pyre. Gonna get, gonna get that tanky little beast. The Phantom Lancer feeding it to the Phantom Lancer as well. Oh, but here comes Dirge and everything's going to ha everything's going to pieces for everybody right now. Queen of Pain gonna be getting out of here. Dirge a little caught out. Oh, taking so much damage. Reverse polarity, so much damage. Oh, Jakira will be going down. Anything else? Sven wants to throw a stone. No. Be no target no target that's it it's game over run back to run back to base i guess what do you do what do you do dirge seems to be going for a very late sort of vanguard i think you might as well just skip it but you know you want to go for something tanky like yeah and you won't be able to afford a hard to rest why not get a vanguard blink has gone on on the magnetor making it all the more likely he's going to move around one of those absolutely devastating reverse polarities as we see windrunner plus shadow demon shadow demon ballsy this game only level eight just going to disrupt for the harass where's the power shot no immediate blink outs in fact before anything could happen what does shadow demon get for boot oh okay yeah mana boots an interesting choice gonna be some definitely wants to spam those poisons is this for a four staff or is it for a necrobook i think four staff at this point very very useful necrobook also you know it's great oh some counter warning going to go out there who has the gem? Or did they lay down some more sweet wards of their own? No, Rubik has picked up the gem. An interesting hero to hold it since he is quite frail, but you know, nobody wants to focus him in a fight, which could be a mistake, of course. Spell steal alone makes him a, a fantastic hero, but of course, you've got too many other problems to worry about. Dude. Now, let's see. Who, what was that gem for, really, anyway? Oh, Dragon Knight. No. Dragon Knight is on their team. Phantom Lancer, obviously. Yes. Ha! Huh. Having to remember all this stuff. Who's can be invisible, who can't. It's actually not that hard. It's the Illusion Room's gonna be popped. Lincoln Sphere has been completed. Ooh, a ghost gonna be made. From the right click, she's gonna about to. She's going to take so much damage. Shockwave gonna be going off. And I'm so sleepy. As we see, Illusion's gonna be pressuring everything. Sven wanted to do the stun, but of course she has a Lincoln Sphere making it the ideal. Bater, I guess. Ooh, moving forward, next to no life. Nice micro of the illusions. Sven. He has gotten something, at least, into the uh, splash. Has picked up the armlet. Finished it. Finished her up, as I like to say. Let us check out our good friend, the Phantom Lancer, and see what he has to say. Phantom Lancer? He has to say, Master Schmidt Reaver! Because nothing says tanky like 1500 health, really. 
on a Phantom Lancer. That <laughs> so ridiculous. Gonna be going for the Heart of Torres next. A great walloping plus 40 health, which means the AD, I think, extra 760 HP. No, it's not even counting. That's not even counting effective HP. Uh, and the plus, I think, 2% a second regen. Absolutely insane. Uh, of course, I don't believe no, the um, illusions don't gain that, but they do have the raw HP added to them. As we see, Phantom Lancer. That's just insane, Phantom Lancer. You're insane. You're crazy. I'm gonna send a illusion forward just with that radiant burn, but he's actually not gonna move him there. Okay, gonna bring them forward. Do the dance of death, you know. Should have just sent it to attack them. Really? Why is he standing there? That's not farming. What is this? Oh, he wants to send these things forward because he's afraid he might get ganked. That's interesting. Now, of course, those of you who've been watching the minimap will know the Scourge have been going for the Roshan. I'm going to ideally give it, I think, to the um, Rogue Knight. Dragon Knight is also a possible. Yes, Dragon Knight will be the ones who gets it because they feel he's a better DPS hero. But especially with the initiation he's going to be doing. Now that he knows he's gonna he's afraid he's not afraid to move himself forward. Be a man, man. As we see, Ice Path just gonna be traded. Ooh, skewer out of there, out of danger. Shadow Wave. Here he moves, he hunts. Ye old Dragon Knight. Okay. Up top, Queen of Pain has decided to destroy a tower by herself because why not? Gonna go for the Agonims next. True. Certainly can get the gold. Immediate teleportations. Just not want to get ganked. This is quite the game. It's going on for a very long time. I am very sleepy. I underestimated how sleepy I was. Was up till quite late playing Dota 2 last night. And it seems that there is a tower advantage for the Sentinel. They also had the better late game. But don't forget who has the cooler team fight potential. And of course who has the Sven. And you guys know Sven is... Sven is, a, is friggin' awesome. What I'm gonna say. The Rogue Knight. Let's check out how many levels Neville three of the Null Field. Rubik's only sitting at a level 10 right now. It seems Mask of Madness will be the item plus the Empower. Oh my goodness, they just this team is built on splash. They should just get crit like Bariza. I'm serious. This is just built on splash. Built on splash, man. Like, like seriously, this could be a, a team to counter Phantom Lancer. I have to make a team to counter Phantom Lancer. This could very well be that team. Well, I'd probably throw in an, another AoE stun, but this could very well be that team. Storm Vault. Just so great. He needs gold, and what is he going to spend that gold on? As everybody groups up, the power's going to be going off everybody. And poison. Our warriors are engaging the enemy up top. Queen of Pain, just like the one man pushing Queen. Surprised she didn't go for group travel. Going to get a nice kill with a shockwave. Well, I think there was there was a Dragonite stun there as well. Catching out that Shadow Demon. Jakiro as well as the... Uh, uh, Windrunner forced to back out there. Windrunner has completed her four staff. Message from Reaver not yet upgraded to heart. Oh my goodness. And he's just doing some jungling while he pushes the lane. Level 15 Phantom Lancer with a Message from Reaver and a Radiance. Oh, it must be dreaming. Okay, as the Ogre Axe has been picked up, got him only about two components more, each one a thousand gold from completing that Agonin. Put a defiance on the dirge. Gonna give him some nice regen. Undying is so unnatural to say as Rubik has taken back the gem from the Dragonite. Where is the Dragonite, by the way? Let's check out what items he has because he will be certainly a game changer at this point. He has picked up the agent. He's decided to lead the big bad. He's still got that uh, elf dragon form. I think he's about to pick up a hyperstone. Oh, yeah. The big bad now is 100% splash and a hyperstone. This is going to be freaking epic if they can just land a single reverse polarity. That's all they need at this point. Of course, they didn't get that kill. Ooh. Okay. Meantime, a lot of pushing going to be going on. Radiance, of course, will help you push that really, really fast. And certainly having a ton of illusions can't hurt. See the plus the 40%, 40 damage a second as Wraith. The Phantom Lancer. By now, level 16, will have picked up all his skills if he didn't, if he decided not to go for stats. And he has become, I think, a monster 28 minutes into the game. Hasn't even participated in any team fights yet, yet I think I have a little too much respect for this hero. 
Um, but yeah, I feel like it, it may be GG. But then again, I haven't even seen a team fight in the past like 10 minutes. And of course, I would be rooting against my the, the, the team that's picked up the Sven. As well as a Hyperstone on the Dragon. I think overall the farm is better spread amongst this, uh, amongst the Scourge and the other Sentinel. But the Sentinel, of course, have had that Queen of Pain like just roaming up top and just farming like a beast. But it looks like it will be battle, uh, Battlefield. Or will it be Lothar's Edge again on the Sven? Some nice initiation. Why not? He is a little bit under leveled though, which is something I'm afraid of. And we are going to see him dying of Courage on the Jakiro. Nice survivability. Plus, uh, well, it's just offensive capability. Plus offensive capabilities going forward. So ballsy. Like, I would marry this chick. Like, so ballsy, seriously. Okay, as we see, yes, I would marry a video game character. Why am I saying? Why am I sleep deprived? The player is a man, I think. Uh, JT, and as we see, an engagement gonna be breaking out. Everything's gonna be going down in Magnifier as well. Oh my goodness, look at the damage. Can I throw into the fire? But he's just gonna wind walk, but there's a jam gonna going almost down. He, even with that thing, oh my goodness. Even with the Master Mystery Reaper, he is going to actually fall in the end. So I guess I did have a way too much respect for the Phantom Lancer. Triple kill here. Favor of the scent of the Scourge. Did not even have a Sven in that engage. Just some nice, tricky reverse polarities. Everybody laying down tombstones, macro pyres, every ultimate coming out of the woodwork. And thanks to that soul rip, just going to heal them up. Going to be moving forward with incredible attack speed. Going to be bringing this down. Lift. I think was the best of intentions, but unfortunately, not quite enough. And they're going to die right then and there. Sorry, but when I say they, I mean the tower. I'm a little sleepy. <laughs> That's no excuse, of course, guys. This is such an epic match. As we see Perseverance picked up, I think that's for a Battle Fury. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, just why not? Because why not? Because why the fuck not, seriously? Um, Aghanim's picked up, great choice, gonna go for Hexnakes maybe, who knows, I don't really know, Bloodstone would also be a great choice, anything at this point, if you want spammability, if you want, depends what you want and what you feel you need, uh, Hex wouldn't be a bad choice, but who's your target, seriously, I mean, you'd have to, you're trying to bring down the Magnus, really, uh, Veil of Discord, really anything, uh, Bloodstone would be my item to go for, but there's no real right choice, and it will be the Lothar's Edge, wow, so much invisibility. Looks like the Sentinel are going to need to get a gem of true sight sometime soon. One for their own collection, shall we say. Heart of Teresk finished on the Azraith. GG, 2198 health on a level 16 Phantom Lancer. I want to call it, but of course, um, keep in mind the Sentinel are currently 9 deaths, 9 kills down. And towers have just completely evened out. <laughs> uh, the Sentinel... Of Scourge are still, they haven't even gotten their damage items yet. They got their utility items, they finished their core. Now they're going to start working on their luxuries. And once you do that, that's a, a ton of extra damage. That's, I don't know if, if, the, if the Sentinel can actually keep up with this. And of course, you know, Sven, best hero of all time. So, there we go. Roshan will be coming back very, very soon. A couple of minutes, looks like Queen of Pain doing a fantastic job pushing forward. Just not afraid, man. Just not afraid of being cut out being chained stunned to death, which she could very well be, uh, even with the Lincoln Sphere. Lothar's Edge. Could do Telekinite throw. Oh, Magra Pirate, there we go! Blink, and they're looking for her. No, that's not where she is, she's over here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That was some cool stuff right there, escaping with 150 health. Sven, pop the God Strength, gonna use it to push. Because why not? He has less health than the Phantom Lancer. That is some scary stuff. Phantom Lancer, of course, a great hero. But yeah, now now that he's completed his core, I'm going to say with air quotes. So I don't feel that's a core. But now he's completed it. He's going to go for damage now. He's going to get his Diffuser Blade. He's going to get his Butterfly. He's going to get his Manta. Uh, Assault Kuras has been picked up. Whoa, extra attack speed for all. Because why not? Minus armor for all. Because why not? And now, who knows what the sun's gonna get? Mjolnir, Cleave, Bariza would be great, I think. Maybe a heart for himself, just to stay in the fight a little bit longer and just pour out that damage. If he wants a Mask of Madness, and he will be going for the Mask of Madness, just extra attack speed, just why not? Just be insane. Insanity, you know? Awesomeness. Okay, right. Blink forward coming in from this uh, Queen of Pain. Lincoln Sphere. I'm sorry, Lincoln Sphere already completed, but gonna get another alternate orb for either Hex or Ayascati. Only two possible choices. Unless she wants to get a second Lincoln Sphere. 
why not? They share cooldown, so so you can block one, and the other one will also immediately cool down. It looks really, really pretty when they do that. Uh, but, but it's more likely going to be, I think, a nice Scotty at this point. Mm, blink. Nice choice. Nice spidey sense. It was tingling right down there. Illusion's fairly tanky, but of course it will still take, I think, about 450% extra extra damage. I think it'll only do like 35% damage. Oh, Diffuser Blade, I think, will be the next one, but it could be a Yasha. It could be a Yasha into Manta. Or even to S and Y. I don't know. Smoke Gank's going to be going off. This is what they need. While they still have the advantage, use it. Press it. Catch somebody out. Unfortunately, there is nobody here to be caught out. <sighs> Plant some wards. Or push some creeps, 100% splash, because why not? Get some farm, clear the creep wave, be a boss. Shadow Demon has got, of course, the gem of true sight. Maybe he's somebody you want to focus. But of course, you've got the DPS heroes, the tanks, everybody else just, you know, fooling around. What you're gonna do as we see these illusions? You're gonna be tanking, tanking the ancients. Part of Teresk, a broken. Broken item. I remember my, my my old technique for Lifesteal, and this is years and years ago when I first started playing Dota. All you have to ha just go into the jungle, disappear for 25 minutes or 40 minutes or whatever, get a Heart of Tarrasque, come out, own. If they still manage to kill you, get another Heart of Tarrasque. That was back when it was uh, 11 HP a second regen, um, plus 40 strength. It was a fun, fun time. Um, yeah, there was sort of an attempt made on the Roshan, but not they get back now. <sighs> Rogue Knight, the two knights, the bosom buddies, gonna be missing out on this big engage. The tombstone has been dropped in. Sonic Web gonna clear it, plus the power shot. Oh, too much dirge gonna be going down, ending a mega kill streak right then and there. And these teams that Rogue Knight plus the Dragon Knight want to come back in. Are they gonna fight this four, four man four v five? Ooh, there goes Dragon Knight with his long-range stun. Gonna get the Shadow Demon immediately. No more True Sight. There we go. Rogue Knight's moving forward. Queen of Pain trying to bait him out. And succeeded bringing him away. There's no chasing capacity. But Jeremy going the other way. Macropire has been laid down. Moving. They want They want something. Oh, Rubik's gonna be going down, unfortunately. So, so squishy. Look at Radiance. Just the amount of damage he's doing. Rogue Knight's sitting about like three-quarters health right now. Tower dropped. As we see a big push going to be going forward, Phantom Lancer's at full health, because why? He's got um, Heart Press, that's why. Moves forward, taking all these sweet, sweet, sweet creeps. With his Radiance Burn bottom tower, he's going to teleport there. I think this is a little greedy, I mean, surely he must have farmed enough, but still wants some damage items to use the Yasha, or maybe even the Fuse Blade. So Moves forward, and he's going to be taking out an entire creep wave. Meanwhile, mid lane, forced to contend with some illusions, doing a tremendous amount of damage. Successful push back right then and there. Whew. I'm exhausted. Uh, no item progression yet on the Queen of Pain, depending on what you get. It could be something really, really good, or just like... I mean, it could be something absolutely game-changing, where it just clinches it for the Sentinel, or... It could be the wrong choice, and just really, I think, be a waste of time. Valeria looks like she's picked up the Yule Scepter of Divinity, some a great extra movement speed, I think plus 30, isn't it? Yes, plus 30 movement speed. And the Cyclone, of course, great for survivability. Just going to use the poison to check the Roshan. Calls are being made from the Phantom Lancer. Of course. Hmm. Once Phantom Lancer illusions start attacking, once any illusions really start attacking the, the, the Roshan, they immediately disappear. You can, however, use them to tank. Uh... In Dota 2, it's based on proximity. I believe in Dota 1, it's... Oh, they, can, they just might as well finish it. Just finish it. Dota 1, it's based on uh, Lowest Life or something. Okay, get that. Ages of Immortal on the Dragon Knight. Now, fight! Fight! My, 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 my minions fight! Even though they don't listen or obey me, and I'm sure they want to fight anyway. They're going to start making a five-man push. Don't want to get caught out. Neither side wants to be clumped together. Uh, either to receive a Queen of Pain alt or a Reverse Polarity. Or an ice path, for that matter, or any of the like, or a storm ball, or any of the huge AOE spells that are being flung around in this game, like it's nobody's business. Power shock of moving forward, fate ball, clearing this creep wave. Dragon Knight keeping that drag elder dragon form in reserve, or is it maybe off cooldown? There it is, come back out to life. Pressure the tower, Rogue Knight moving forward like a boss. Towers glyph, 
Oh my goodness, there's the Yules. There's the Ice Paths. Oh, gonna catch him out. Cliff is over. Magrobire doing so much damage, so much work. Rogue Knight's gonna die. Oh, that's. I think you gotta back out at this point. You can't do it without the, without the Sven. Sven's so strong, but here it goes. They're gonna try. Do they have enough damage? Is they gonna stun him? Chase them to death. 3.2 seconds stun. Oh, BKB was popped. It's enough. Just focus. Now they're focusing the creeps. Powers at half health. That is not a lot for, for a Sven dying. That is not good compensation. BKB charged for us to use it. Now he's at the level, he's at the seven second mark right now. But at least Battle Theory has been finished on the Magnetar. I'm not sure that's something. I'm not sure if that's much, but that is something. Shadow Demon has picked up nothing, so that is nothing. So that's a something, which is Battle Fury, and that's a nothing, which is nothing. Um, just want you guys to, so that when your parents ask you what you're doing, you can say, I'm learning. Don't say I never taught you guys nothing. Let's see, Helm of the Dominator gonna be picked up on the Dragonite. Oh, that could be useful. That could be so useful. He's gonna do an anxious stack. What is he? What? What happened? Where did it go? Is that it? What? How, why did it disappear? His health. No room for a TP scroll, uh, which you kind of need. He's not even gonna get a TP scroll. Actually, uh, yeah, there it is. How did it keep appearing and reappearing? Um, okay, anyway. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Yes, our warriors have engaged the enemy. These new, new goblin troll warlords of the enemy, I'm sure about that. Phantom Lancer are going to be pushing up top. Wonder what his next item will be. Defusal Blade! Oh, just straight to level 2. Burn that extra mana. I think so, yeah. 20, 36 mana now. Don't really need the purge. I'm not sure if he can purge in Dying's ultimate form. He can no longer purge God's strength. See, our warriors are engaging the enemy at here, this ancient camp. Let's just check out item progression. I am so anxious to see what it is, whether it's a Scotty or whether it's a Hex or what component she's going to be going for. It is a Hex. Nicely done. That's a cool one. Yeah, like, why make her right-click your own? Instead, Hex. Take, take a Sven out of the equation. Take the Dragonite out of the equation. I think Dragonite has become more of a DPS hero than the, than the Sven, at least until it's Sven. Why is Sven? Oh, Sven's also gotten Helm of the Dominator. Wow. Just sort of uh, copying the build of this Dragon Knight here. Since the self care is much for the armlet. Armlet's slightly cheaper choice. Bereza, I think, would be the next item, but I would myself get a heart of dress because I don't trust myself to live through those fights, especially not with a Maisley. 1537 HP. Even though he does have plus 15 armor, that is a significant amount. Looks like. What's that? Doppelwalk. Alright. That's a cool thing. I forgot about the aura things. Anyway. The Fusal Blade. Why is it like the greatest item ever? Imagine all these guys, like eight of them, just whacking down on you and each one burning mana. I think. Ooh, big, big push going down in the mid lane. Uh, just going to check out Fan Legend. Has picked up that uh, thing. You might want to trade for Boots of Travels next and then straight up get a Yasha afterwards so he doesn't have to carry that TP scroll. Oh, mid tower getting so pressured. Dragon Knight just pounding just pouring out the damage onto it just furious too fast too furious ice path gonna miss him out just focus the racks everybody's waiting waiting for somebody to want to engage if somebody engages they're gonna blink in and reverse polarity them oh for cosmodon lothar's oh kill with the dirge with the soul rip my goodness there's a rogue knight gonna be god strengthening it up ultimate was just dropped from the queen of pain she didn't even care rax has been taken Rax is being taken, telekinetic throws going off, Rogue Knight's there, Storm Ball, he wants to do something, Jakiro's gonna go down in like three hits. Look at him, he's got immediately hexed the Dragon Knight, but that's not enough, Rogue Knight forced to run away, Poison just keeping everybody at bay, doing a tremendous amount of damage at this point. And see our wards engaging the enemy, Dragon Knight gonna make it out alive, he's, has he burnt the ages already? He has still got the ages, he's still got the ages, he's still got the ages! How long is it lasting? Oh, he's gonna die, but there he is! The Aegis, now the big bad dragon has come back in human form. And Lothar's immediately getting away. Dirge as well, everybody escaped that. But the Sentinel, the poor, poor Sentinel, did not fare quite as well. Bottom tower to the game, he can... No, no compensation at all. Still sitting at full health. Rogue Knight back from going forward and getting himself a nice and lovely... Stone golems, emerald golems. Stop. Thirteen to twenty-two in favor of the scourge. Who has thirty-one hundred gold? Phantom Lancer. Boots of travel, or is he same for buyback? What's he gonna go for next? I would get the boots of travel just so I can buy. Anything else? 
Maybe a hyper What's he doing? A hyper something? Another heart? I don't know. Oh, wow. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. For some reason, it just never occurred to me that he could sell that. Yeah, that thing was good. <laughs> yeah, just why not sell it? Just get, <laughs> get an eagle song. Yeah, okay. It never even occurred to me that he could sell it. Alright. I don't know why. It's this sort of mentality. It's a bit of a problem with chess as well. As we see, Phantom Lancer can move forward. Now, he's hitting for a lot of damage. He's going to have invasion soon. He has the Diffuser Blade. No Yasha or Manta, which could be nice. And I think once he has those, he's peaked as a hero. Like, you're not going to be able to get any more items after the Butterfly, which travel, plus a Manta. But, uh, do you really need any more items? <laughs> do you really need any more items? Dirge moving forward. Wow, Death Wish there. Purge going to be used onto him. You can purge the Undying Form, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, Telkinic throw! Telkinic throw! Where's the engage? Fade Ball! Oh, they, do they have vision? They must have vision. I think somebody has a gem. Yes, his Rubik has a gem, in fact. Dragon Knight moving forward. Oh, she's gonna be taking every bit of damage. He has no Aegis. Macropire! It's gonna be soul ripped just to save his life. Keep moving forward, fighting in the Macropire. Go forward, BKB! Oh, the de the stun coming in. Not the best chain stun, doesn't matter. They got the Queen of Pain triple kill right then and there. So beautifully done. The only body person left alive is the Phantom Lancer, forced to go back to base. Despite being the latest of the late, they still have a chance. Um, it's just tough. It's tricky business. He's going to have to fight like an entire team by himself. As you see, bottom lane, completely pressured by the Siege Creep. He's going to get half health. But of course, that's not the biggest concern for people. The biggest concern is what's going on up top. Well, what's going on up, up top? Dragon Knight just pouring it just straight out like a like water into a bucket from a hose just straight out of that's a terrible analogy onto the tower and they're moving forward there's no signs of stopping everybody's got in power war cry no more no more ultimate form rogue knight's god strength is up though pounding straight onto the tower glyph gonna be taking down those units sending one guy forward with a little bit of a trying to push that creep down telekinetic throw phantom lancer running backwards he's got a heart of terrestre just fight Oh, Rubik's gonna be cut out. Pacropire so good. Looks like it will be everybody against, I think, this um, Dirge. She's just tanking, soaking up all the damage. Ice paths are being dropped. People are dying left and right. Magnator, Magnator, don't die on me to the Windrunner. She's dead. I mean, he's dead. And it looks like Rogue Knight is gonna die as well. Rogue Knight did go down in the end. Dragon Knight's gonna go left. Corn BKB out. No disruption, unfortunately, because of that BKB. Blink, they did manage to get the racks, though. Could be big, could be bad, could be dangerous. Let's check out the score in the end. 16 to 25, got a, quite a few kills their way. Phantom Lancer are going to be not completing. He's going to be about 900 gold away from completing the uh, Butterfly. And he's moving forward. He's going to take out this entire creep wave. He's going to push by himself. He's going to be an absolute beast. Micro this illusion, man. At the very least, you could push it forward. As we see, yeah. I guess they they just want that. They just want to be pushing out. They want to get a Rex as soon as possible if they can. Magnetar, I think, is that the person they want to focus first? Or maybe you focus last? Who knows? They can still cre clear the creep wave so easily thanks to this uh, Radiance. It's a very greedy build. At least it wasn't the, uh, whatchamacallit, thing plus Radiance. Uh, Hand of Midas plus Radiance, though. But more illusions gonna be created out of thanks to the disruption. I'm just how many illusions gonna be. I know you can have like 15 meepos, there's a way to do it. You have illusions, magic style, illusion room, disruption, stuff like that. And yeah, they are gonna get this racks. What are the scourge gonna do about it? They're all here. The shockwave, where's your whisper? It is a telekinetic throw. That's not the real one though. Ice path gonna catch some people out. Disruption, there's a storm ball right to space. That's the real one. They know it. There's a tombstone. Immediate hex going off on the rogue knight though. And is he gonna be moving forward? Are they gonna get soul ripped? If, if he dies, he's this is game over. Phantom Lancer, tanky, but not tanky enough. Force a retreat for the scourge. Managed to get a tower, but not even the racks. Even though it was so low. And I believe. That the Scourge are going to try and end this right now, or are they going to do Roshan again? Yeah, they are going to be doing Roshan. It's all theirs that they wanted. There's no more DPS coming out from the Sentinel side. They gave it their all, and there's another 50 seconds until uh, respawn time. He's going for Satanic, and he has already he has already bought it. So now, now what do you say to that? Gloves of haste. He dropped the gloves of haste. Let's go for Mjolnir next. Uh, Friday can do it. What's the point? And he's gonna pick up. 
the Aegis Cheese, I think, going to be going yes to the Rogue Knight. No TP scroll on either of them, so actually, if you could do some backdoor shenanigans, which Queen of Pain is not adverse to doing. Uh, Queen of Pain even is going to have to go back. She's going to be going for a BKB next. Because that's kind of what you need at this point. Um, there's so much magic damage, so many stuns, disables, keeping Queen of Pain out of the fight. Meantime, BKB, I think it's being reduced to its 5 second charge. Yes, onto the Dragon Knight. So that is something at least. Can you keep him down? Who knows? Phantom Lancer's back, needs a good engage. He needs to focus the Magneto as I think is stated by one of his teammates. Moving forward with the Radiant Spurn. I mean, it's a legit strategy, but I think he's relying on that Radiance a little bit too much. Should be moving forward. There we go. Just burn some mana, man. Burn some mana. Oh, rip, soul rip. Gonna be going off. Rubik's almost dead. Gonna die. Look at Knight. Look at Rogue Knight. He's so close. He has no mana at all, but he's already got used up all his skills. He still has the cheese. Right clicks going off. Right clicks going off. He's still at the cheese. Cheese up. He's full health again. Look going for it with the skewer. Aegis is being dropped. Rogue Knight so low, Phantom Lance is just focusing on him, he's used the purge and everything, push can't purge up God strength, and yes, Rogue Knight will be going down, but Dragon Knight's still alive, and I think he's the bigger bad, fortunately there, he's dying, oh my goodness, Dirge went down, there's reverse polarity, I think a little bit late, oh, the splash is insane, gonna get one kill though, I think gonna get a second Queen of Pain, blinks out so beautifully, timed, and yes, Phantom Lance will be getting the other kill on the Dragon Knight, that's the end of that, Queen of Pain, gonna have to be backing out at this point. Phantom Lancer going to be pushing back. They managed to get a tower and a Rax, though, but they managed to avoid Mega Creeps. Can they do this? If there's any hero that can do it, it would really, really be... Oh, no, there's also the top... Uh, it would, of course, have to be the Phantom Lancer. <laughs> I really can't catch my breath at this point. The thing is, I don't want to call it GG, because the Phantom Lancer's got a butterfly. <laughs> Ah, uh, he hasn't even peaked yet. He can still get, as I said, two more items. You want to get a Boots of Travel because you need to have a TP scroll. But once you get to Boots of Travel, you, you free up this item slot. And an item slot is so much more important later in the game than gold because gold comes to everybody. Item slots, you have a maximum of six. And yes, they are going to take this time to push as far as they can down the mid lane, hoping to get this tower. And yes, it will be another 30 seconds before the big bats come back. Can they get this Rax? It's at halfway strength. The Dirge is waiting. Rubik is waiting. Rogue Knight is waiting. These guys can lay on the pain and the punishment. But without Magnetar to set things up, without the Dragonite to lay on his insane amount of damage. No! They will be getting one Rax. Oh, here comes the revenge. They'll be getting a second. The damage is just too much. It's insane. It's insane. And they're going to be getting this thing, a Ziggurat. Because Ziggurats are what make this game Dota and not Dota 2. A big engage going to be going forward. Phantom Lancer's not scared, but he is a little bit... He's gonna be throwing, yes, yeah, Spirit Lances. Pretty Pain's blinking out. Drop a walks. A lot of damage. The Dragonite is back, and he's angry. He's looking for the intruders into his house, and he's not gonna find anybody because he's really slow as well, even with that Lothar's Edge. But he has the Satanic. I don't even know how he died last time with the Satanic. I heard 75% lifesteal. That's insane. But of course, the perfect chain stunning Ice Path is just an absolutely sick skill. Queen of Pain doing her thing. Phantom Lancer getting an Illusion Rune. Boots of Travel and Mantis Style next, or is it going to save for buyback? You want to save for buyback at all times until you can buy the completed item, I think. Because if he dies again at the end of the game, only ranged racks remain standing. Racks remain standing. TP back. He needs to defend this. He needs to defend his Ancient. Going forward. Radiance. Yasha. Radiance. Plus Yasha. Oh no! This is going to be cool. And he's microing his illusions. Finally, for the first time ever, moving them forward. There we go, big engage, right here, try to catch out the Rubik before everything starts. Radiant's doing a lot of work against those creeps, gonna make it so they don't have to find their end favorable territory. Immediate Hex, they're gonna be going for it, Dragon Knight is focused down, but he is he has a lifesteal, he's trying to get back, no, he's gonna die before anything happens. Oh my goodness, Tombstone is still up, but that's nothing doing, Rubik is also gonna be falling, is he gonna be falling? No, he's so low, there's... Jakiro, oh, sorry, Jakiro will be dying in the end of the day, but of course she has managed to get a revenge kill, Queen of Pain, taking down the Rubik. Oh, Dirge trapped, running into the waterfall, but the waterfall, there's nothing there for anybody, there's no exit. Teleport back, oh my goodness, Tele triple kill, immediate pushing out, Yasha attack speed. Moving forward, he needs this. <laughs> they need this so bad. Are they just going to straight end? It's another 45, 52 seconds. I don't think they have buyback. Straight end might be just 
The ticket, it might just be what the doctor ordered. And sweet, I, these Phantom Hunter illusions doing a great deal of work, but they're not rocking anything. Meanwhile, a little bit of a defense of the ancient here. With this Shadow Demon moving everything forward. Phantom Lancer doing as much work as he can. He is a one man army, essentially. He's five heroes in one. They move forward. They move forward. They want these towers. They have 15 seconds. Rogue Knight's moving forward. He's invisible. Is he going to do anything? Storm Bolt to everybody right there. Why are you focusing the Windrunner? Not the best hero to focus at this point. But yes, the illusion is just straight up almost killing him. And they have a heart of Terrest, don't forget, he's going to be a full health, they managed to take down one tower. Bottom lane is being incredibly pressured. Look at that tower. Look at that tower. Go, straight switch to the bottom. Just run to the bottom lane. Just run to the bottom lane. No, that would be a bad, that would be a big mistake. But uh, yeah, especially with two of the heroes now dead. But they managed to take out one tower. And now here comes the Scourge. Is this going to be the final push? Is this, I don't know what's going on. Let's check out their items. Crystalis picked up on the Magic Tower with the Mask of Madness plus... Plus the uh, Battle Fury, he's gonna go for Breeze next. I don't know what, what it is, or he's gonna save for buyback. Who knows what's going on. It looks like Agonins will be the next thing on the Undying. A great, great late game item because it does scale as in terms of percentages. And meanwhile, Phantom Lancer's doing everything he can to slow this down. Can't get caught out because he doesn't have a TP scroll. True, keeps throwing those things and running away. Doppelwalk was stolen instead of Phantom Lance. Instead of the uh, Lance, which is kind of what you wanted. Move forward, everybody's invisible! Oh, Stormbolt's gonna catch him out! This is the end of that defensive disruption! Where's the ice path? Where's the ice path? Where's the ice path? Been used up. Where's the ice path? There it is! Gonna be doing so much work. Micropire as well. Are they gonna get this? Are they gonna get this Dragon Knight? No, he's gonna have to run away. Double walk was just stolen. They don't have gem, they don't have vision, they don't have detection. Dragon Knight's so low. But he, does he have a heart or something? No. He has Satanic. He can use that on some creeps. Neutral creeps just get his health back. I think that's what he's aiming to do at this point. Oh, unfortunately, that's the disruption. Shadow Demon gonna have just die right then and there but gonna give his allies time to, to come back from this why is there a big yellow blot in the middle oh those are the illusions oh here comes the move they don't want this they don't want this they're moving forward oh my goodness playing forward queen of pain is back they're all back everybody's back to is straight up but no follow-up damage mantis style has been finished and he's gonna be going on to the rubik before anything can happen rubik is dead who else is gonna be going down next immediate hex is gonna get the rogue knight next disruption a reverse polarity, but nobody's there alive to follow it up. They're all, oh, another range. Now they have mega creeps, but Dragonite is almost dead at this point. Are they going to get the Dragonite? Are they going to kill the Dragonite for like the billionth time? They're going to kill the Dragonite for the billionth time. Who else is still alive? Nobody's alive. Yes, it's just the Magnetor. He's going to have to run out like the coward he is because he's the Magnetor. He's going to get midi stunned because he can't dodge Shackle Shot. And she's moving forward. She wants to, she ain't got more stuns. Don't forget about it. Oh, four staff four trying to disrupt, but no. Nothing doing. No dice. Mega creeps. They have mega creeps themselves in one lane, but they're of course not as big as these creeps, which have just spawned out with 96 to 105 to 4 damage. It's absolutely insane. Those things are practically mini heroes on their own. Can you do this? It needs to straight end. They had 30 seconds to straight end. Here it goes. Dragonite has revived via buyback, but I don't think that's it. It's enough. You, you need the rest of your team there. They're coming back in 15 seconds. Rogue Knight, is Rogue Knight alive? Yes, I believe. No, just the Magnus. Maybe. Maybe they can do it. Maybe they can pull it off. Or maybe the Phantom Lancer is going to come back. I don't know. Right click. Right click it. Oh, there's the Mantis style. It's going to be right clicks galore going on with this tower. The Ancient's going to be exposed in half a second. 100% splash. Just ignoring him. Now I'm going to go for the Ancient. Ancient has been exposed. Oh my god. For Cosmodon as we move forward with the BKB. Is there a detection? There's vision. There's definitely vision. Everybody's back now. Can they do this? They need to win another big team fight with minus two of their heroes and i think both sides the ancients are exposed forced to blink back and i am gonna have to say i'm gonna have to say it's unlikely man micropire gonna have to use on these creeps but guess who's still here and who's still fighting the dragonites dragon have any mana no burned completely away but of course it's all coming back so fast because this is so late in the game Boots of Travels, War picked up in the end. Plus the Man of Style, this is it. Phantom Lancer has peaked. He isn't going to get stronger than this. The Ancient is exposed. Glyph is just being popped. Sentinel don't even need to be here. There's a back dooring. Shackle Shot's going to go up on a creep. Just misclick. Moving forward, Wind Run. Show oh, Skewer! She going to die. Four Staff forward. Blink forward as well. Some great, great individual play here. That was some of the most beautiful things I've seen. But he's just focusing, just pounding it straight onto the World Tree. And you can shackle to the World Tree. Oh my goodness. Shackle him! Shackle him, shackle him to the world tree. That's what she just needs to do. Oh, she's gonna get shockwaved to death. Everybody's dead. Nobody's buying back. 
Wait, who won that one? I'm sorry. The Sentinel! Yes, the Sentinel won that one next to the back door. Shenanigans of the Magnetar. Oh, because both sides were just finished, and this thing dragged me back. Oh, that was just so cool. It was just so epic. I just had to see that thing again. I wanted to know what the hell was going on. Unfortunately, I can't rewind. But yeah, sorry if I got a little bit too excited. That was one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, man, that was that was epic. This is the reason why I got into Dota. And uh, yeah, it just shows, everybody says that Dota 1 is no longer show quite as excellent quality of plays. You all are wrong, and that was friggin' incredible. Okay, I'm just gonna say that right now. Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching, and I will see you guys again next time.